Last time we saw that Kavi's life totally changes with the accident of his parents and the death of his mother and seriously injured father Bhim. And after seeing his father wants his mother by his side, Neelam Aunt discussed with Kavi and convinced Kavi to transform into his mother so save the life of his father at this disaster time of life. So now the story continues. As the days turned into weeks, Kavi immersed himself in the daunting task of transforming into his mother, Kavita. Under Neelam's guidance, he began the arduous process of adopting her mannerisms, speech patterns, and behaviors. Neelam and Kavi stood in the living room, the sunlight streaming through the curtains. The space had been cleared to create an impromptu practice area. Neelam watched Kavi closely, assessing his posture and movements. Kavi, the first thing we need to work on is your walk, Neelam said, her voice gentle but firm. Your mother had a distinctive, graceful walk. She moved with purpose, but there was always a softness to her steps. Kavi nodded, feeling a mix of determination and apprehension. Okay, Aunt Neelam, how do I start? Neelam demonstrated, walking slowly across the room. Watch closely. Your mother always kept her back straight, shoulders relaxed, and took measured steps. Notice how her feet land softly, one in front of the other, with a slight sway in her hips. Kavi observed her intently, trying to memorize every detail. Then, he attempted to mimic her walk, feeling awkward and self-conscious. No, Kavi, Neelam corrected gently. Your steps are too heavy, and your shoulders are too stiff. Relax and let your body flow naturally. They spent hours practicing, Neelam correcting him with patience and encouragement. But still his step are faster and hard. Then she went to wardrobe and searched. For a thing, he told him to relax. Then she told him to walk. Due to change from the thing his steps become slow and soft. Gradually, Kavi began to find a rhythm, his steps becoming more fluid and graceful. Better, Kavi, much better, Neelam praised. Now, let's work on your posture. Stand tall, but not rigid. Imagine there's a string pulling you up. From the top of your head, keeping your spine straight. Kavi adjusted his posture, feeling a strange mixture of vulnerability and strength. He repeated the walk several more times until Neelam nodded in approval. Good. Now we move on to talking like your mother, Neelam said, leading Kavi. To the mirror, Kavita's voice was calm and soothing. She spoke with warmth and kindness, even when she was firm. Kavi tried to recall his mother's voice, the way she would speak to him with a gentle yet unwavering tone. Like this, he asked, his voice still rough around the edges. Neelam smiled encouragingly, close, but softer. Let your words flow like a gentle stream. Practice by reading her favorite book out loud. For the next few days, Kavi read aloud, Neelam guiding him on modulation, pitch, and intonation. He repeated phrases, imitated conversations, and worked tirelessly to capture the essence of his mother's voice. You are getting there, Kavi, Neelam said one evening after a particularly good practice session. But remember, it's not just about the voice or the walk. It's about her spirit, her kindness, and her strength. Kavi nodded, feeling the weight of the responsibility. He spent time observing old family videos, absorbing Kavita's mannerisms, the way she interacted with others, her expressions of love and care. He practiced her gestures, the way she tucked a stray lock of hair behind her ear, the way she smiled with her eyes. As Kavi continued to practice, he began to understand more about his mother, seeing her not just as a parent but as a person with her own strengths and vulnerabilities. He gained a newfound respect for her, resilience and compassion.
One evening, after a long day of practice, Kavi stood before Neelam, transformed in more ways than one. His posture was poised, his walk graceful, his voice soft and soothing. He had even put on some weight, his frame more filled out and reminiscent of his mother's. Neelam looked at him with tears in her eyes. Kavi, you've done it. You've truly captured your mother's essence. Your father will see her in you, and it will give him the strength he needs to recover. Kavi felt a mixture of pride and sadness. He had embarked on this journey to save his father, but in the process, he had discovered a deeper connection to his mother and an inner strength he never knew he possessed. As he prepared to step into his mother's role, Kavi realized that this transformation was not just about helping his father but also about honoring the legacy of love and sacrifice that his parents had imparted to him. And in doing so, he found a new sense of purpose and identity, blending his own self with the spirit of Kavita. The transformation process continued, and the next phase focused on adopting Kavita's dressing sense in learning how to wear her clothes and makeup. Neelam guided Kavi through each step with patience and dedication, determined to ensure his success in this challenging endeavor. One afternoon, Neelam led Kavi to Kavita's wardrobe. The closet was filled with an array of saris, salwa kameez, and other traditional Indian outfits that reflected her elegant and graceful style. Kavi, your mother had a very distinctive way of dressing. She loved wearing saris and simple yet beautiful jewelry. Let's start with a basic salwa kameej, Neelam said, pulling out a light pink outfit. Kavi looked at the outfit, feeling a mix of apprehension and determination. Okay, Aunt Neelam, how do I wear this? Neelam smiled gently and began explaining each piece. First, put on the churida pants. They're fitted and comfortable. Then, wear the kameez, hey, long tunic. Finally, drape the dupatta over your shoulder. Kavi followed her instructions, struggling at first with the unfamiliar clothing. Neelam patiently helped him, adjusting the fabric and showing him how to move gracefully in the attire. Now, let's move on to the sari, Neelam said, pulling out a beautiful pink and gold sari. This is a bit more complicated, but with practice, you'll get the hang of it. Neelam demonstrated the process, pleating the fabric and tucking it into the waistband, then wrapping the remaining length around herself and draping it over her shoulder. Watch carefully, Kavi. It's all about the pleats and the drape. Kavi tried to mimic her movements, fumbling with the fabric. Neelam stepped in to help, guiding his hands and correcting his mistakes. Take your time. It's all about getting the pleats even and making sure the sari sits comfortably. After several attempts, Kavi finally managed to drape the sari correctly. He looked at himself in the mirror, surprised at how different he looked. The transformation was beginning to take shape. You are doing great, Kavi, Neelam encouraged. Now, let's move on to makeup. Neelam brought out Kavita's makeup kit and laid it out on the dressing table. Your mother favored a natural look. She didn't wear heavy makeup, just enough to highlight her features. She began by showing Kavi how to apply foundation and concealer blending it seamlessly into his skin. This will even out your complexion, she explained. Next, we'll add a bit of blush to your cheeks for a healthy glow. Kavi watched intently as Neelam applied a light pink blush to his cheeks. She then moved on to his eyes, demonstrating how to apply a subtle eyeshadow and eyeliner to accentuate his eyes. Your mother's eyes were her most expressive feature, Neelam said softly, a little bit of coal will help bring out their depth. Finally, Neelam showed Kavi how to apply a light lipstick and a touch of sindoor in his hair parting, 
a traditional symbol of a married woman in many Indian cultures. Kavi looked at his reflection, barely recognizing himself. The makeup and clothes had transformed him, but it was more than just an external change. He felt a deep connection to his mother, understanding her in a way he never had before. Neelam stood back, admiring Thay. Transformation. Kavi, you look so much like your mother. It's uncanny. But remember, it's not just about looking like her. It's about embodying her. Spirit, her kindness, and her strength. Kavi nodded, feeling a sense of responsibility and purpose. I understand, Aunt Neelam. I'm ready to do whatever it takes to help Dad. As the days passed, Kavi continued to practice, perfecting his walk, talk, and appearance. He spent hours each day in front of the mirror, refining his skills and gaining confidence. Neelam's guidance and encouragement were unwavering, and slowly but surely, Kavi began to move and behave more like Kavita. One evening, as Kavi stood before Neelam in a sari, makeup perfectly applied, and a gentle smile on his face, Neelam felt a surge of hope. Kavi, you're ready. Your father will see your mother in you, and it will give him the strength he needs to recover. Kavi took a deep breath, feeling the weight of the task ahead. He was no longer just a son trying to save his father, he was a living embodiment of his mother's love and sacrifice. And, in that role, he found a new sense of identity and purpose, ready to face the challenges ahead with courage and determination. Finally, with the help of Neelam aunt, Kavi learned to do makeup, wear female dresses and learn to walk and do the all the things as his mother do daily basis. Now what will be the next step for Kavi? Will Kavi be able to act like his mother well? Will the hard work pay off for Kavi for recovering the health of his father? Stay tuned to the upcoming part of the series. Also like, share and subscribe to my channel for the latest videos.